lost her brother to COVID-19 in September. And then shortly after that, her father contracted the virus and spent nearly 10 weeks in the hospital. Our Cassandra Webb joins us with their story of grief and triumph over the deadly disease. Cassandra. Guys, it was a good day indeed. A moment the family has been hoping for and praying for for weeks, but also a bittersweet reminder of their other loved one who did not survive. They couldn't hold back their smiles or tears as the family patriarch pops finally gets to come home. And I'm sure all the grandkids and great grandkids will be very excited to see him today. Battling a vicious disease for nearly 10 weeks, almost a month of that time on a ventilator. He had to get a trach put into his neck and emergency dialysis and just so many more things that happened over the last nine weeks, but here we are. I had to learn how to walk, eat, swallow. But this family keeps family at the center, and it's Douglas's legacy who kept him pressing on. And to get home to my kids and grandkids is one of the most rewarding things that motivated me to push myself. The family calling this moment nothing short of a miracle. The doctors, they were giving us updates every day and there were moments where things were not looking very good. Because she's seen the worst side of COVID when it took her brother, Brian, this fall. Well, I don't want to cry. We miss him so much. He lasted, what, maybe nine days from the time that he got diagnosed. And as the leader of the family still faces a long road ahead. I feel great. I don't have any pain. I'll still be going through rehab. I think I can overcome it. The same people who surround him now surrounded him then, and they're the reason he won't give up. Now the family says they're looking forward to spending more time with Douglas, and they've really missed his cooking. They want the hospital doctors, nurses, and staff to know how very grateful they are for helping their pops pull through. Back to you.